So, tyres. The Royal Enfield Himalayan comes with the standard Pirelli tyres, which have a tread that's pretty good for off-road, but probably not good enough for what I'm looking to do. So I'm gonna upgrade to the Shinko 244s, dual purpose motorcycle tyre for heavier duty off-road situations without compromising on the road as well. This tyre has a cat's claw tread pattern, which is sort of like a knobby without having the wear that would normally happen when you take it on the highway or on the road. The horizontal and vertical gaps in the pattern are gonna give me way more traction because of the way that they're going to move the surface through the, the tread. So versus having something like this Shinko tire, which was also an option, this has only got one-way grooves through the pattern. Great tire for highways and off-road, but for what I need to do, uh, I just needed something that was more on the knobby side of things. This is the standard windscreen that comes with Himalayan. It's probably one of my only gripes with the bike. Unfortunately for my height, and I'm a pretty standard height, I'm 1.7, 1, 1. it puts the wind straight up into my face. If I put my helmet on, you'll see that the wind goes straight into my peak, which causes me a lot of stress in my neck and a lot of vibration and wind noise in my ears. What I've got to put on the bike now, which I'm super excited about, is a slightly taller windscreen from Hitchcock's in the UK, and that should help to put the wind over my head rather than straight into my eyes. GPS mounts. So this is the thing that I will not leave home on my motorcycle without. It doesn't matter where I'm going, if I'm going overseas, if I'm going around the corner, I will always have something that can charge my phone and mount my phone. This particular GPS mount is from Anfield Accessories and I love it because it's really high up, which means I can mount my phone here and I can also mount a GoPro backwards so I can get that nice personal shot of myself if I'm filming for a documentary. It also has built-in USB charger um, to the right. So it's just an amazing setup, which means I don't have to worry about mounting all sorts of different things just to be able to get my phone or my handlebars to charge. Foot pegs. If you're going to be doing some serious off-roading through puddles, mud, or any kind of water, then you're gonna to wanna to look at improving your um, stock foot pegs. The Himalayan comes with a rubber foot peg, which is actually really slippery when you're going through any kind of wet surface. So. I've got some aluminium foot pegs, which I've replaced today from Motocan, and this is gonna help give me a much wider footprint to rest my foot and also a lot more grip when I'm going through wet surfaces. Rear brake cylinder guard. It's one of those things that we don't really think about often, but on the Himalayan, it's in a position which causes it to actually be likely to be damaged. And if you've damaged your brakes, especially your rear brakes when you're going up road, you're going to have a bit of a bad time. I've got a rear brake cylinder guard given to me by Zayna and this is going to help protect the cylinder in case I fall over or any rocks flick up. Bender risers. It's not really something that I ever thought about until I got given a set of them. And now I'm really excited because it means that if I go through any kind of clay, mud or snow, the surface is not going to get stuck between my wheel and the fender. And that's super important because it means it's not gonna lock up my front wheel.
So if this is the kind of off-roading you're looking to do, then I would definitely recommend getting a, a set of these and they're super cheap and so easy to install. These modifications will improve your off-road experience, but they cannot create it for you. Over the past few years, I've ridden almost every type of terrain, including sand, in various countries around the world on a stock Himalayan. So it goes to show that you don't need to spend more money just to give it a shot and to have a go.